standing in the rain with his head hung low he couldn't get a ticket it was a sold out show he heard the roar of the crowd and could picture the scene put his ear to the wall and like a distant scream he heard one guitar now <laughs> It was songs like that that made me want to be a rock star. I totally, I, I ate up, oh crap, that's not even on. Camera, video, and take two, take two. I always say that twice. Sail on, silver bird. Sail on by. Your time has come to shine. All your dreams are on their way. Have you been waiting for something to work out for a long time? I'm here to tell you, your dreams are on their way. Hang in there. <laughs> you can't just not ever win forever. Sooner or later, somebody gets the girl. Or the big break. Or, you know... It might just work out for you. You're going to get that promotion. <laughs> going to get the raise at the job. Your boss is going to say, good job. And refer to you as your last name. We've decided to give you a 10% raise for your good work. And that's when you know your dreams have come true. See how they shine. Oh, when darkness comes. Yeah, I got dreams too. <laughs> you know I'm a dreamer. But my heart's a gold. When I was a kid, I, I wanted to be two things. I wanted to be either a rock star my first big influence in life was Elvis Presley. And you know, in the baby boomer generation, every rock star that I listened to growing up, they all had the same story of when they decided they wanted to be a rock star. It was when they saw the Beatles on the uh, Ed Sullivan show. Every one of them, Paul Stanley, Gene Simmons, any, you know. Uh, I wish that light wouldn't do that. But for me, it was Elvis Presley. And it was just hearing the records. I remember being a kindergartner. And my parents had a, a number of Elvis Presley albums. And I used to, I learned how to work the stereo and would play Elvis Presley. And I would play Elvis Presley. I'd pretend I was Elvis Presley. I would sing and dance, you know. I pretend I would, you know, like other kids would pretend they were superheroes or whatever. I pretend I was Elvis. <laughs> and, um, and Elvis was also inspiring because I knew he came from a small town and that he was poor when he was a little kid. And so Elvis was sort of like the American dream. Elvis represented that you could be anything in life. Didn't matter where you came from. If you had a dream... You could, you know, live out your dreams. And, but I knew it was a long shot. I also knew there was only a few people actually got to live that dream. So I was practical. I thought if the rock star dream doesn't work out, I can always be a cartoonist. You know, like Charles Schultz. 
You got to do Charlie Brown and Snoopy. And I really liked uh, Gary Trudeau. He drew a comic strip called Doonesbury. I really liked his art. I ripped off <laughs> Gary Trudeau a lot. <clears throat> so my plan was, and that wasn't my plan, my, my dream was that someday I would grow up and become a rock star cartoonist, a guy who played guitar. And and I remember too, as a kid, you know, I had, I had kind of small town values because also pretty early on, by the time I was... 12 I discovered kiss and all the you know the next generation of rock and roll stars and these guys had long hair and and it was all about the lifestyle sex drugs and rock and roll but I remember I had kind of a relationship with God even as a kid and I would pray and I I never prayed dear God please make me a rock star I remember talking to him going, you know, if I can be a rock star, I promise I won't. I just want to be a rock star. If I became a rock star, I wouldn't do all that sex and drugs stuff. You know, kind of like, like a deal with God. Just make me a rock star and I promise I'll be good. I just want to play guitar and have long hair and lights and, you know, my buddies on stage and people cheering and and make music, you know, it really was about that. And I, I never cared about being famous. I didn't care about being rich. I didn't want anything. I was like, oh, when I grow up, I just want to have a limousine or whatever. <laughs> like like a limousine is the nicest car, but whatever. I don't care. But I I did want to rock and roll all night and party every day. So, but just in case, you know, when I, when I developed the dream of being a rock star, I didn't play guitar or anything, but I did draw and I thought I had a good sense of humor. So I started drawing comic strips and making jokes as the backup plan in case some way I didn't become a rock star. <laughs> But I learned how to play bass. I started learning how to play the bass. Oh, here's here's my advice to any parents out there who are thinking about screwing up their kids' lives and encouraging them in the arts. <laughs> uh, every real musician or artist is self-taught. You can't teach guitar. You can only encourage a kid to teach themselves. So don't bother bringing your kid to a guitar teacher. If your kid's interested in guitar, buy him a guitar, show him some Kiss videos, talk about guitar. Then you figure out some stuff on the guitar. You don't have to be as good as your kid. Your kids, and then, you know, kind of show them what, what you know about guitar. And when you're when your kid grows up, he's going to have this wonderful memory of his mom struggling with the guitar to try to encourage him, trying to teach him to play an instrument she didn't even play. Because he will teach himself guitar. And all you need to do is be impressed with every little improvement he makes. You know, he, he comes upstairs and he's playing I can't get no satisfaction from the stones because it's three notes. Da 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 na 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 na. You tell them, hey, that's awesome. And that's how you encourage and teach guitar, piano even. If you bring your kid to a piano instructor, they're going to teach them how to read music. And, you know, the best you can hope for for a piano player who reads music is to play at the church organ or something. People who read music have to read music. But the Elton Johns and Billy Joel's and David Bowie's and Prince, these guys are all self-taught piano players. They don't read music. They just spent enough time goofing around on the piano 
until it's indistinguishable from people who read music and write music on sheet music, you know? Um, you know, I can play piano now because for the last four years I've been goofing around. I don't read music. Never had a lesson. But so my advice, don't send your kids. Also, it, it will hurt your kids' feelings to look back on their childhood and realize that if you didn't try if you didn't support them in their music but instead hired a stranger some guy like me to teach them well here's how you hold a d i could tell you or you could look it up on youtube or you would have figured it out while you were learning how to play more than a feeling by boston you know and this is ben <laughs> quitting weed Number 16 by Michael Lyons. Miigwech ka bizendawiye. Thank you for listening. And I will see you again. Kigawaba min. Minawa. Back in the days, in the good old days.